Robinson. We're up at our cottage uh, in the Adirondacks. And uh, I thought this would be a great time to do an update on Vivi. I've been noticing some changes in her collar and her app and um, wanted to kind of point a couple things out. One interesting thing today is I thought like my collar was going through a full failure um, and it was uh, because I didn't plug it in. So uh, again, just remembering simple troubleshooting, sometimes it's honestly user error. Um, but her collar seems to be working pretty good up here. The one challenge that I do have though is when we're in a remote location is I don't have as much option and availability to bring her back unless she's connected via Bluetooth. Um, and uh, you know, unless she's literally like right by, by me because remember Bluetooth is kind of a close connectivity. But let me show you a couple of these updates in the app itself. So this is Vivian. We're up actually up at our camp and there were a couple things that I noticed that were just kind of sort of new things to me. And I think this is a new, um, this is a new update to the app. So if you take a look where it says fence feedback paused, and it's actually giving me a reading on the GPS, um, which I really like. Uh, I'm actually inside the camp, which might be why the GPS is reading well, because it has some boundary issues right now. Um, but it's telling me obviously that the dog is safe, but the updates that came in, I'm going to hit this I and what it does is it takes me into this article that was really telling me how to interpret the, the collar status on the pet card. And what I wanted to know was a little bit more about this, about this specific fence feedback, active GPS level high. Mine's obviously reading low. Um, and kind of what that all was. So if you are in your app and you're having some issues with your GPS, one of the things I would definitely do is check out that little I button. It'll give you a really good, clear understanding of kind of what everything is and what the different icons are. Um, but it's a really nice update and lets me know, you know, when I'm having difficulty connecting with her, what that is. Um, so the GPS strength of being low, um, is kind of important to me. Um, but the nice thing is I will also say about this collar, since the information is stored in the collar, I don't worry about it too much when we're up here. She doesn't run off, you know, she hits her boundary. She kind of turns around. She likes to be around her people. And I, I've talked about that before. She's a great fit for this kind of collar. Um, but this is a great article that explains all of that information. All right. Well, that's my little update. All right. Well, that's my update. And I hope you found that helpful, at least kind of where to find that information so that you go to the correct article about it. And also so that if you see those icons kind of on there that you don't know about, you can take a look. Um, as I said, we're up at our camp this weekend. Uh, up in the Adirondacks, things are going great. And um, anyways, if you like anything on this channel, please like and subscribe and take care. Thanks.